guys and welcome to episode 18 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Torox leading the Slaughterhorn tribe to world domination. Today uh, we're hopefully going to be cracking down on some of these elven armies. They are starting to build up around Port Anrock and honestly they might just all try and attack it. It could be worth me moving back here and defending it against these armies as they come in. Or I could kind of like carry on and just keep destroying more and more land, let them take that if they want to, and then, you know, by the time we get back up here, we can just destroy them all again. <laughs> um, because I am planning to basically go down and around and then up again. That's what I was planning to do anyway. So if I need to hop across and take back Toran Rock or whatever, then I can. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll just carry on, if I'm completely honest. So we'll have uh, Car lead the charge. Actually, let's have um, Karak lead the charge this time. Uh, because he's going to have more natural movement range. So he can pop in there. I'm going to make sure my other guy gets involved. So that we get the experience. Because I want to keep leveling up all of his boys. Oh, I actually wanted to make that into a herdstone, didn't I? Oh, actually, no, I couldn't do that. Yeah. If I made that into a herdstone, then I won't be able to do a lot then, so never mind. Right, we'll have them both carry on. We'll take out Val's Anvil next. All of these have leveled up, which is exactly as planned. Gonna give that one Shadow Hide. Uh, we'll give these the melee defense. Good. And this guy needs to level up as well. I said over to Morga. Morga's still replenishing. What's the garrison looking like here. Not sure. I'm going to have to choose an, a unit to get rid of in this army. I think the Tuscor chariots can go. The Sons of Goros can actually do quite a lot of damage still, so this one's probably going to be the least important for this attack. I'm going to boot them so that he can jump in the army. I'm probably going to try and like okay. assault or attack this army. I mean, I'm hoping maybe the plague gets on them and then we could just attack them. There's no rush for me to push down there though, so that's why I'm not bothering at the moment. Let's make sure we build these in. Do I want to spend the money on this for now? Probably not. I might spend my cash on grabbing like a couple of fell axes. Uh, which I can give to my big boys over here. Because these don't have very good weapons. A Tormentor Sword is actually pretty good. Sort of battle is terrible though. I don't know why this is common. Like plus 10 melee attack and plus 15% weapon strength is actually pretty good. Alright. We ignore that and we carry on. This is some other thing that I want to do. I could pop this up again. Get more gore herd. Hmm. Guess it doesn't matter for now. Alright, Tor Amrock under attack. I guess we just jump on in, play it out. We have walls? Say what? Why do I have walls? 
That is weird. But I'll take it. <laughs> I did not expect us to have wolves. That would be way more one-sided then. Wow. Well, saying that, I don't know, their range forces might just be a pain, like it it could be worth me just letting them in and then slaughtering them behind the gates. I just leave like a unit here that's able to like mess with the towers. And then we kind of deal with them once they come in. I think that'd be better. Yeah. I'm going to just move everything back. Um, so let's just have these in the center. Uh, we'll leave some of those on the gates in a second. But yeah, I just need enough to capture both the towers on both sides. And the reason I'm playing it carefully like this is because... I want to make sure that I preserve as many forces as possible because there's so many other armies nearby that we're going to have to deal with. The main thing here is just making sure these towers hit these Lothan Sea Guard, tip them down. Uh, on this side, hit the Spearman or the Eagle. The white lions there is fine. If I hold fire here, do they show themselves, I wonder? Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter, I'll just let them fire. Because if these want to sit in front of the towers for a long time, then that's fine by me. Although I think my boys are going to disintegrate pretty fast. Um, yeah. It's okay. I mean, as long as we're doing the initial damage, that's all I really care about. On this right side, there's like no range forces, so I could just stack up over there to begin with. Yeah, I think we just kind of attack them on the walls here. And I'll bring my centigors to go with the Great Eagle. Wait for them to come off the wall, I think. I'll just keep these out of it so I can throw axes into the back of the Great Eagle. Do you mind, Great Eagle? Actually, chip it so hard with those. So. Yeah, I'm going to bring them back out again. Because we can keep this uh, Alistair engaged and then we can throw at him as well although he's surrounded at the moment by gore heads so he might just get chunked by them to be honest 
He's taking a lot of damage. Get the Manticore over here. Might as well devolve them. Good. Taking out those spearmen. Oh, those spearmen just took <laughs> loads of axes in the back. Damn, we just did so much damage there. It's just nuts. What is going on? They aren't doing anything right now. Yannis is dead. I can get my Manticore to make sure that's the case. Yep. Alright, now what? Because <laughs> they're not really coming towards us. Hmm. I guess I could like sally forth and go and kill the uh, units over here. Actually, I guess I don't need to just yet. I'm just going to get on the wall here and start shooting them with the tower. Maybe that'll make them do something. Oh, they're out of line of sight. Of course they are. Okay, uh, let's just sally forth then. We'll come around this way and we'll sandwich them against the wall. We don't want to get too close on the left side there. I don't know why they keep wanting to go around that side, it's really weird. Like, why is that making them go there? Very strange. Right, let's just charge into the back of the silver helms here. Let's carry on round. It's so weird how they're not using ladders or anything. We just want to climb into that, you know, I think. I guess I could devolve them, but I need to get close enough. My boy is pretty slow. Alright, we're going to want to pull some range here, initially. Get our men lined up. Ready to go. Let's just charge him into the corner of the map, that's fine. Alright, let's get rid of this silver helm unit. And we're going to want to start charging up here. Alright, in we go. Alright, those are gone. I'm going to bring these around the side because we need to make sure that we're engaging all of them. Rather than just oops, allowing them to... Dictate these engagements. Alright, 
I guess the one problem we have here is that we're kind of charging uphill, but whatever. As long as we stop them firing, it's, it's all good. Damn, we actually did a lot of damage with the harpies there. I was uh, unexpected. I mean, maybe the manticore was the one doing most of the damage, I don't know. It was very weird. Well, we're now behind them, so I think we kill everything. <laughs> yeah. Let's go for the white lions there. I want to make sure we clear everything up. Alright, that'll do. Make sure the armies are as damaged as possible when they leave us. Took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but for some reason they didn't actually attack properly. So weird that we have wars though. I guess maybe major settlements do. Maybe that'd be a reason to put the herdstones up in major settlements. It'd be crazy strong. Like every battle you have would be really, really good. Because the garrisons that you can build inside these settlements are really big. That's one down anyway. I think we got probably another one to deal with after this. We'll have to replenish the forces. Yeah, Nagarith might go for it. Uh, maybe not. We'll Eertain Confederated Avalon and Reichland Confederated Marienburg. two more factions we'd have to deal with. Yeah, it's weird, like, all of these, like, elven armies are just <laughs> moving around Thorarok. Maybe they'll actually, like, reinforce each other. That would be weird. Children of the Old Ones have declared war on the Hunts Marshal's expedition. Nice. What's the Riphorn tribe doing? I swear, if they declare war on me, that'd be so annoying. Well, Torox is getting actually pretty close to being able to take out this army. That's good. That's going to work out quite well. We're going to jump over here to Nagafari Plain. Wish I could just attack, like right click attack. But in Warhammer 3, they're going to make it so that um, Sinch can basically underway attack places, which is just ridiculous. But, oh well. Um, let's go take Val's Anvil. I'm going to pop this Gift of Chaos onto... This chap, because he doesn't have poison yet. Uh, we want to raise an advance. I guess we could loot and raise. It's fine, yeah, we'll just head this way. And I'll move up in front of him and ambush. I guess I could give him 
primal instincts for some defense. And I think with Carl we go for like the blessed by evil. Carry on with that. We're going to be getting pretty close now to Lothurn. Uh, actually, I can recruit, I think, another Minotaur. Yeah, I can. I should probably recruit all of these Minotaurs, actually. Hmm. Yeah, I should I should definitely pop these in here. Like, even if it's just, like, the Gore Herd and the best Gore Herd. It's an upgrade, at least. Yeah, Car probably should have left him with enough to do his thing. I should pop this into Malagor's army. Yeah, Torox has moved. Um, over at Malagor, we can... What do we want to drop? And the Harpies can go, I guess. Let's get rid of these Chaos Warhounds. Pop that in there. Yeah, send over to Morga. How's this going? The nation calls. Block army or wound. Block army. Wound. I kind of want to do something on the settlement itself. So that we can kind of see what the garrison's like. But it's not really showing us. Hmm. It's getting to the point now where, like, I don't want to be sat here for ages. I was really hoping this army might do something, but they, they've gone back. Like, after attacking Hexawattle, like, I'm okay. so not convinced by the effectiveness of these Chaos Spawn. Maybe we just go and attack Skeggy instead. Or I save enough dread that I can get another army. And then maybe with the chaff we can push through. We do actually have the beastly inclination at the moment. Just pushing this chaos spawn to 62 melee attack. Ah, maybe it's enough. Agreed. Especially if the garrison's kind of trashed by the, uh, the Empire. by the plague. Yes. Uh, if, if only I had my beast dude in the army, I would most certainly go for it if I had magic. Maybe I'll just go for it anyway. Let's do it. Can I get in there? No. The garrison is depleted. So I think we do it. Like, hastening the challenges is, like, not really a big deal. So I probably should have just committed. If I'd, yeah, if I'd had the dude in my army, the magic, uh, this would be an easy battle. Now it's just going to be a grind at one of the gates, I think. And technically, my Chaos Spawn are pretty good right now. Like, they are pretty strong, but... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna just put these on the left side. I mean, maybe I could have Morgor on the walls as well. I feel like he would maybe get more damage done instead of being like sandwiched in between all of the chaos spawn. Yeah. Alright, so we'll put these in one group. 
I'll put those in another and he can climb up on like the right side of the gate. I might have these go for the gate as well. So the weak units are on the walls, which is fine. My biggest concern is the great swords. I'm taking a lot of damage on these chaos spawn already. They do have regeneration though, so hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. No damage in right now. I'm just gonna launch arrows up and over while we're waiting. Because I don't think it matters that we do damage on the walls. I just wanna do damage to the units that are actually gonna engage us in melee. ground you stand on. Kill them off. So this is a situation where like this chaos spawn could really use the like bonus effect from that building that we can make. I might have um, him just get off the walls or just attack these great swords. This isn't going terribly. Aura of Vile Transmutation. That's the big thing that does loads of damage. That's actually ridiculous. I think the best way to deal with these heroes is just to ignore them and then just get everything else and cause armor losses. side to help kill off those great swords that are kind of chunking my melee forces and uh, all these centacles actually are perfect for running down these hand gunners mm. 
He's just getting pushed around. <laughs> Come on, Morgan. In the battle. Just gotta keep putting that attack order in. So they eventually actually attack. Well, I'm gonna get these Ungol Raiders up on the walls. Oh, that guy's actually dying. Good old Roderick. He's going down. Potion of healing. This is uh, attack actually at 80 with 620 weapon strength. It's actually pretty good. Making chunks. Uh, my sons of Goros are probably dead. They. That's fine. They're a bridge right now. I don't really care. Uh, we'll just go for the next great sword unit over here. Uh, I guess we should probably make sure we finish off the great swords. That we were attacking already. No, okay, good. Well, let's get in there. It is actually kind of crazy how much damage Morga does then. Gonna want to go charge these uh, handgunners again. Enemy Lord is dead. That's what we like to see. My unit's routing. <laughs> they just got a really good charge in. I need to make another unit retreat. Let's kill those great swords. Oh no, never mind, they don't want to, they want to run away again. It's fine. <laughs> Meanwhile, our own balls of chaos are doing their thing. <laughs> Let's just smack with Marcus. Give a good bash in the face. Get that Hellfire sword going. Great, looks like that's army losses. Perfect. Pyrrhic victory? Yeah, I'll take it.
So 319 kills for Morga. Yeah, with some magic alongside Morga, he'll be able to do so much damage because we'll weaken them with the spells and then like Morga will just finish them off with that damage. It's That's going to be nuts. Like I'm starting to have a bit more faith, <laughs> I would say, in these Chaos Spawn. Of course, we do still have the plus 15 melee attack buff, so that's always good. But yeah, that was that went a lot better than I thought it would. To be honest, I really thought those chaos or that sorry the um, great swords would do more damage to the chaos spawn, especially since they are reasonably high ranks. You know, they're like rank nine and stuff. Alright, we will beat and raise. Ritual Ruin is ready to go. Oh, that's a really nice... Um, I'm just going to jump into a hidden encampment. Um, it's a really nice trait. The Missile Strength of the Lord's Army. Uh, plus the Missile Resistance. We are now rank 10. Since he's going to be going on his own, going through the Blessed by Evil is probably a good idea. I could also get Shadow Hide to get even more missile resistance. Oh, he's already on 85%. <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, that's not a priority right now, then. And then we go Blessed by Evil, Unholy Resistance, at least get Lightning Strike so that when we don't ambush. We can lightning strike still. What was it we lost? Oh no, we haven't lost anything. We just need to get this boy in there. Cool. Yeah, so we're going to grab the Touch by the Moon ability because that's going to work really well with this Chaos Spawn. I'm also probably going to upgrade this to get that Dread Patan. We're up to 1,000 Dread. I'm probably going to save for another army. And then we're going to pop one out near Morga so that he can continue without having to be as worried about whether or not we're going to die. Because, like, the worst case scenario is that, like, a singular army like this attacks something and we lose, and then they go and destroy the... uh... Herdstone. But even if they don't destroy the Herdstone, it really kind of affects our progress of world domination. And, like, I kind of enjoy trying to take over the world you know reasonably quickly <laughs> um or like almost as efficiently as i can so like that i find is a setback like if we were to like lose an entire army like that would be pretty big uh but yeah anyway um i think everything's done for this turn so we're just going to move on to the next one Oh, they're going to do it. Again. They're coming in. Our army is almost fully replenished. <laughs> We've got a couple of phoenixes this time, though, and the tree kin. The phoenixes are going to suck, but hopefully I can just kind of pin them down and get the throwing axes on them. We'll see how it goes. Going to have to play it out regardless. I might just be a bit more aggressive this time. Maybe fight them outside the walls or in front of the walls. Use the towers to our advantage. Because this small army will be on the field first and then the reinforcements come in afterwards. If we see which side the reinforcements come in on, we can just kind of deploy on that side. Need like a skeleton force on the other side. Yeah, like here. I, if I sally forth, it might work out quite well. You just like 
put all our dudes here. Uh, with these two behind. With this one on the wall. And then the right side. I just, I don't know, swarm them with the harpies. And the manticore. Like this archmage might climb up. I guess we could kill them with the minotaur. We keep the razor gore herd here. Actually, you know, let's keep the minotaurs here. The razor gore herd should be able to kill the mage, so we'll put them there. They're also faster. Um, and then we'll bring this boy over here. Okay. So we just take these towers and we shoot those. We take these and we go and kill that. And we go and charge down the Northern Sea Guard. Yeah, so they're now going to come towards us. We can even use these to attack the phoenixes. Mm, don't want to stack too much, actually. We already kill it. Yeah, we did. Right, we're going to charge into the Lovin' Sea Guard here. And then we'll kill the White Lions. Alright, so this is pretty much perfect. Let's just bring these out so we can get the axes onto the Phoenixes. Gonna want to charge that White Lion before they get on the walls. Good. Are these throwing their axes? Please say they are. I should be able to. Alright, let's kill the, the Archmage then. And these towers, yeah, we just want to be hitting like Lothan Sea Guard. Like any ranged units is fine. Oh, nice! Just got a good amount of damage in there. Alright, let's just go down and attack them in front of the towers. This tower needs to probably hit the Treekin. Because we're going to continue through here. I'm going to have to get these to come around and just engage their range forces at the back because we are actually taking quite a lot of damage pushing forwards like this. But uh, that is fine. Uh, we do need to bring these forwards. And I'm probably just going to like chuck axes into the back of these. 
Still got the Minotaurs ready to go. Mm. I can't really afford to lose too many here because there's still another army that I've got to deal with after this. I think my main problem right now is that there are so many range forces. Just ran in time. I mean, I was hoping that it'd be like worth me doing this more, but it doesn't seem to have worked out that way. Like fighting in front of the towers. I don't know. But then again, I can't really sit back against the army anyway, so maybe it doesn't matter. Minotaurs in there. Oh, they're capturing the center. Should probably not let that happen. Cheeky AI. Army losses anyway. Yep. Oh. Alright. Well, we'll just leave it there. I probably could have let it go on for a little bit longer, just to like kill some more stuff, but yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I definitely took more damage than I would have liked, but I think we have enough to fend off. Nagarith if they decide to have a go. I mean, these units are actually getting some, like, decent experience on them after these attacks. So, and every time that we push them back and we manage to replenish again, it just gets harder and harder for the AI to take this element. I mean, we can always sit back and, and chill if we need to. It's just kind of boring if you do that. Take replenishment again. We are causing, like, plagues on all of these armies. What are they doing? Alright, here we go. Yeah, this is uh, what I was talking about with the Nagarith armies. Uh, they do have a Lithanar. He's, he's pretty good. Thankfully, they don't have many archers. They've got some Shadow Walkers, they've got some archers there, some Shadow Warriors, but that's about it. Only five units. This could still be a really tough battle for us to play out. It really depends how they attack us. Because we don't deal with the range forces they will really hurt but unfortunately guys it has been my time so i'm gonna leave it here in the next episode uh, we will play this out against the lethanar and hopefully defend for anrock and then we'll carry on towards uh, lothan and so on in the meantime with the other two armies that's it yep thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one goodbye